Section 1 is established at waypoint 2, 1 heading for waypoint 2. Yeah, 1 from 4, I think Tex might have just got kicked. Garage that. Well, the server's in his garage, so he can only complain to himself. Four established ten west of Waypoint. Copy. For why, why don't you turn back for Waypoint One? Uh, and we'll cross over. We'll. Keep uh, uh, keep some separation. Uh, we're about halfway between one and two. Four turning for waypoint one. And uh, what's the threat axis come from? Uh, threat axis should be north. Do we have an AWAX we should be listening to? A firm. I believe that's said uh, channel two on radio one uh, on radio two. Checking. Darkstar 1 1, Colt 3 2, Alpha check from Bull's picture. Overlord 2 1, Colt 3 2, request picture. Okay, so it's AWACS is Overlord, um, 264100, channel to radio 2. Good job. Uh, let's go defensive spread. Here we are. Three, two, overlord, two, one, pop up group, zero, 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 Copy that. Uh, well, we're continuing cap on on the same sort of uh, run. Colt three two, Overlord two one, pop up group three four five four sixty at three thousand. Colt and check right for uh, waypoint one. I love that method, by the way, with the TDC. It, it's really cool. It's useful.
raw, 3-5-3-4-100 at 19,000 knots. Looks like an enemy cop is quite lazy at the moment. Let's try out the uh, right stick, hand actually. Turn north at uh, 27 at bull 143. Roger. Uh, one's on the way to you. Uh, let's set uh, your stick 41, 104, Yankee. So far ahead of you, I'm trying to unbuckulate it. Roger that. Looks like they're coming out to play. Uh, 
three one uh, once they get a bit closer if you guys take the uh, eastern group we'll take the western Let's check right for uh, uh, for the contact, uh, uh, Western contact. Two. Go. And just to confirm, you want us to commit on the group that's Bulls uh, 066 for 58. Hey, firm, 066 for 58. Call three, two, we'll commit on the one, group uh, 033 Rolling out reference heading 346. Let's kick up the speed and uh, engage. Section one is targeting. Overlord two one, bra zero two six four one hundred ten at twenty thousand hot. Colt three two, Overlord two one, pop up group zero two five four eighty at five hundred hot. Kicking into burner. What's your range? Mm, Thirty five miles. Roger. Game plan is to skate left after uh, firing one each. I'm in position to fire, 25 miles. One's good. Bra zero six three four fifty at thirty five thousand. Choose box three. Section one is box uh, three times two. Slash one. Uh, section one, slash one, make twenty one. Two, let's re uh, let's uh head back to waypoint one, uh just to reset here. Uh, we're getting a bit close to uh, the larger group. Two Second section report splash one make twenty one. Colt three two overlord Roger. two one. Uh, we're resetting at uh, waypoint uh, one. Nine thousand cold. I'm 
might have said that on the wrong channel earlier. We're committing on a group bull 051 uh, for 42. Roger. Splash one big twenty. Uh, two say stick. Two nine point six. Roger. Uh, section two say stick. Uh, four is a uh, nine. Uh, let's take nine four. Roger. Could probably do uh, another uh, another uh, engagement country. Yeah, I think we'll probably be good. The tanker's relatively close, so, and like I said, we can always just get a new jet if we need it. Yeah, Rich. Everyone's uh, checking left for we put
Section one is targeting the uh, pop-up group. Cap. Game plan will be uh, skate right after shoot. Fox 3, breaking around. Roger, one commit. Two groups at uh, pulse three four two for forty and zero zero two for forty five. Hey, firm. Roger. We'll screen from the uh, northeastern groups. Copy.
I'm going to start my left hand turn um, to face the group at Bulls 041 for 75. I'm visual. Roger. Visual as well. section of committing on the uh, uh, northeastern group. Uh, copy, we're going to commit on kind of the middle group and then we got a, a couple of trailers coming in behind. We're going to try to drag those guys towards you all. Roger. We'll try to sort from the northeastern bows towards, uh, towards your target, see what uh, sticks. Okay, send Buster. So we're tracking the two ship at uh, Bull Zero Four Zero Five Zero Sixty Four. Bra Three Three Four Four Fifty at Twenty Nine Thousand Hot. Just be sure they have the other two targeted, correct? Affirm, they've got the uh, middle group now and then they will be sorting uh, for the western group uh, near Bullseye. Colt 3-2, Overlord 2-1, Bra 3-5-1-4-50 at 29,000 knots. Colt 3-2, Overlord 2-1, Bra 3-5-6. Sorting the uh, the group on the right. So the group at Bulls uh, 05 uh, 6 for 49. Copy, you want us to. to oh, looks like we might have got the second one too. Two Fox 3 on uh, East Man. Colt 3 2, Overlord 2 1, Bra 2 8 6 4 45 at 21,000. 2 defending. Roger, one is Prox 3 on the west bank. Bra 332470 at 35,000 knots. One defend. Colt 32, overlord. Colt 11 defending. Bra 333470 at 27,000 knots. Colt 32, overlord 21. Bra 332490 at 35,000 Say less. Say less. Three three zero four seven. Abort the fight. Twenty six thousand. Uh, I think aboard for now. Yes, uh, we'll try to reach the bed. Three two. Overlord two one. Bravo. Got a bit too close. Although I am clean, are you clean? 
Sorted lead. See, there's some jamming there as well. You got those last two, you need us to help. Call 32, overlord 2 We got the uh, zero, zero, right, three, zero, one, zero, one, zero, 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 Okay, copy. I think we're gonna head for Texaco. Call three two, overlord two one, bra two nine six four seven at fourteen thousand knots. Thank <laughs> you. 
Splash Mark and Fox One. Splash Mark and 29S again. Alright, let's reset. Let's hit Texaco with the boys. Thanks for the heads up. He was uh, six miles underneath me. I couldn't see him. I've only got one, uh, 120 left. So Call to 32, overload to 1, bra, 0, 9, 1, 4, 120. Uh, let's head for uh, Texaco uh, 2 at 119, uh, I think, X-ray is checking. Yeah, 119, X-ray. Showing 91 miles away. Neither. Uh, just climbing up from 10,000. Also do the uh, the interleave the or the scan frequencies of that as well. I didn't know that. I just happened to hover over it and see it. Watch that. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I definitely need to tweak the gains on that uh, or the exponential on that because it's very sensitive on my uh, on my portal. Nice to do some tanking on the, on a non-laggy tanker, huh? Well, it's fingers crossed for now. I don't know anybody that says it'd be nice to do some tanking. Oh, you'll you're in for a treat in this group. You'll have a bit of tanking. 
I once uh, established at about 18 and a half, uh, current speed 410. That last mission, I think uh, some of us should have been awarded some medals for the tanking we did. No doubt. That is a fact. We have an old expression. You know, the Navy Chief of Medals is basically everybody gets one just for, like, doing nothing. So, called the damn rock. Yeah, go ahead and put yourself in for a name. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, by the way, uh, I was in Twiz, uh, and I let one Fox 1 out, um, and it did not auto-switch to STT, even though the track was valid. Uh, and then I had to actually TDC the press on it, which is a change. Yeah, for sure, because it used to always go go STT when you pull the trigger. Absolutely, and it actually said to me go STT as as it normally would, but um, but it was not in STT until I uh, targeted it. So my first one got trashed, and my second one tracked, and it was a MiG 29S against the ground as well. I was like six thousand higher than him, uh, so very impressive because that almost never works. Just out of curiosity, is are all the jets modern? Like they're not, you know, historic '80s version. Uh, say, say that again. I cut off at the end. Uh, you know, some of the servers will limit your uh, your loadouts to uh, it's 1989, so you don't have uh, AMRAMs. You're just like spare only or whatever. Aim nine mics instead of X's. That sort of. Thing. We typically train for for the uh, maximum weapons available in the whole sim. Um, I mean, there are some missions where we will restrict it for sure, uh, but typically, like the deployment, for example, is uh, is as modern as as the game allows. Oh, great! Because I love Aim 9 x Yeah, and we uh, we do have some uh, warehousing set in there, so there's we really haven't run into it yet, but there's going to be some some points where we may run out of the Charlie Amrams and have to use the Bravos. Sure, sure. Mexico 2, Camelot 1, 3, 4, uh, 5 miles from the north, uh, approaching for Port Region. something behind you guys. Copy. Passing under. Let's 
Delta 2-1, one, Camelot 1-2. Approaching from the north, 10 miles, we uh, join the port side. Below, either one of you yeah. guys, emergency? Uh, once, uh, 3-3. Three, three. Uh, how far out are you? 2 to 1.8. I'm uh, right to your left hand side, sir. Okay, uh, we'll let you guys go first. I'm I'm at six and uh, Millie's like at four, so we'll let you guys sneak in there first. Yeah, of course, taking the uh, reddish line. I lost that. What what did you say your state was? Uh, six and four for uh, for us two. And two is one point eight. Roger that. You go in uh, straight in for the left side, just in case it has, uh, you know, some preference as to which which nozzle comes out and all that. Texaco, two, one, Colt, three, three. Request rejoin. Uh, the first person to call contact will call always give the left toes. Texaco, two, one, proceed to pre Yeah, it should be absolutely. I'm just uh, not wanting you to flame out while I'm. Uh, you know, accidentally disconnected or anything like that and pulls my house in. Yeah, no worries. Five miles of trail, close quick. Roger that. Tex, I'm lining up between you guys and the tanker. Copy, I'll try to give you a little room. And blow it, I don't know what y'all are thinking. I think the the only thing left was probably those two F-14s. And when uh, Hero and I did this the other day for his air to air sign off, they never did really even engage. So we can probably just call it and get enough fuel to get back to the airfield. Or uh, we can go to the boat too. There might be a carrier on this map. Yeah, for sure, I agree. Um, you know, if we want to debrief or just do some comments and stuff, that'd be absolutely no problem. Yep. I'm game. I'm, I'm sitting here with my air to air. You were thinking about who's gonna play me in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking Denzel. Hell yeah. I know. Uh, two's passing on the right side. A uh, good buddy of mine who is a retired Marine. Cobra pilot. He just uh, has a book coming out basically next month. I'll have to send you guys a link. He's he's badass. He's just an amazing guy. Long story short, it looks like they're gonna maybe even option it for like Apple TV. Oh, that'd be cool. he's a blonde hair. Oh yeah, he's excited. Blonde hair, blue eyed guy. Really cool dude. Just you know, one of those. You can read the phone book in your lap, and he's a funny, just sweet natured guy. But apparently, he's just a badass in a Cobra. Anyway, when I asked him, hey. Texas he's gonna play you in that. Camelot uh, one two nose cold switch safe. Moving to port side pre contact. That's awesome. Uh, you know, we actually have a, a, a conversation series where we talk to people um, who either served or currently serve. Uh, and we recently had a, an Apache guy, actually. Uh, so yeah, definitely interested in, in everything that's not not necessarily, you know, a Hornet. Ready, recontact. So if he wants to do some publicity before the, he goes famous, then absolutely, you know, pop over for an hour. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll chat with him, yeah. I got a bunch of buddies down here that have some pretty interesting stories. Awesome. Contact. 
Let's take up to maybe nine thousand. Not sure where the sure. where the tanker where the carrier is. Maybe eight thousand. Ready, recontact. Hundred miles from the position. Okay, Roger. Nine thousand it is then. Then we can bust her over there. It's a true Navy simulator. We'll lie about a standby gyro and divert to an Air Force base just so we can get a boot. <laughs> Amazing. Never done that before.
Alright, Scope 2, Camelot 1 3, moving in pre contact for starboard basket. Scratch that port basket. Pressing on. Ready, pre contact. Return pre contact. Ready, pre contact. Clear contact. One four six eight. The state is uh, nine three. Huh, he only gave me up to six point five. Maybe he does want me on the other basket. So here's another little pro tip, uh, if you have your uh, refueling probe mapped to a button, you can you can uh, stow it and uh, that will all automatically issue the, uh, uh, you know, the refueling complete uh, trigger, uh, so it will Ooh, clear your cool. hose without communication. It's actually it better in that way for the AI, it's something to do with the way the logic works, it it completes the logic circuit rather than um, if you break the connection and then tell it to abort. It's uh, a different logic path. Roger that. Yeah, I mean, we don't frequently take a partial, but when we do, I always do this. You're taking fuel. sense. Yeah, because you saw me pull away and then you just heard transfer complete and you, uh, yeah, you thought it was for you, gotcha. Satisfied, move to starboard observation. Cross and under. Excellent. 
I'm not sure if I transmitted uh, the 5 degrees on mid B, perhaps. Did you guys hear it? No. No, oh, Roger, sorry about that. I transmitted on 31. Uh, let's go 5 degrees nose up um, and uh, set buster. Return free contact. And checking left. Rolling out device. Return free contact. Well, on, you might come off just a little bit. I'm having to touch the burners to keep up. Yeah, Roger that. Uh, I was actually just going to say, let's go into burner. Uh, I will go uh, uh, just about, you know, 109% or whatever. Copy. And the ship BRC is 270. Frequency should be 128.5, and it's not available on comms just yet. I'll call us in when we get 50. Well, this is curious. My left engine fuel flow is 5.7, my right is 7.5, and they are the same total settings. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing just your right engine in burn. Roger, that's the way. Do you take any damage? No, just your no. left. Weird. So now they're both off, and then in burner, let's see. There we go, they're synced up now. That was strange. That's probably why my throttle was feeling like it was differential when I was tanking. I was like, having to manipulate one of them. Now they're both showing exactly the same fuel flow. Yeah, I found myself just jogging the right, right throttle because I kept drifting for no reason. I was in trim and stuff. Right, let's level off 20, uh, sorry, 32.8. Uh, okay, I see the two of you, I'm missing one still. Oh, I see it. Sorry, I was kissing my wife good night. No problem. Uh, set bingo of 3,500. Checkcraft for two four zero. Alright, 
I've set the field flow about 1, 2, 0 on each, and hopefully that should be enough to give you guys some latitude to uh, move up and down. Speed four hundred and nine. Yeah, I got us like forty five miles from the boat, so Yeah, we'll be going idle in uh, just a second here, just gonna intercept this course line. Uh, and traffic. for the sake of time we can probably just hit the initial and not mess with the marshal. Yes sir, that's uh that's exactly what I'm planning. So I took us a bit uh, to the left here. The uh, course line is uh, BRC is 270. Uh, Rizal Marshall, come up for flight of four, holding on to 200. And I'm sorry, I don't remember your motives, guys. Um, Marky Mothers, uh, 09038, uh, Angels 32, low state about the six. Inbound. Alright, idle, uh, idle throttles. And checking right for 270. And setting minus 15 degree dive, air brakes out. We'll make it as non canonical as possible today. Just going to correct us a little bit more onto that course line, maybe 280 run out. I'm overshooting a little on the right. Roger. Two's moving right echelon. Roger that, yeah. Uh, format right echelon. And checking out for 270. But you guys usually uh, put your hooks. Uh, I think probably now is a good time as any because we're going to go straight into the brake pattern. So hooks down. I think normally we'll do it like at the command side of the marshal. Yeah. Yeah. Thank And then don't forget with the air starts, your anti-skid is set to on by default, so you can click that to off. Anchor. Altitude. Altitude. 
looking for 800 feet here. Speed Rex coming back in, looking for 350. There's another saying I learned from an old skipper. If you're gonna be John Wayne in the brig, don't be Don Knotts in the groove. Nice. There, I got a little out of place. I'm sliding back over to the road. Roger. By the way, the uh, Takan is uh, 71 X ray and ILS is channel 15 if you want it. Uh, did you guys uh, ever enable that uh, during the day for case 1 or was that like a frown upon? noisy in here. <laughs> Check left slightly. Overhead angels, one. Holding hands with zero one nine. Low state five point six. Zero two zero. Power Roger. BRC two seven zero. St. Louis Charlotte. Zero two zero. Marshall zero one zero. Marking mops zero nine or zero four three. Angels one. Holding hands with zero one nine. Zero two zero. Low state five point five. Weather is visibility 10 plus miles. Scattered clouds at 8,000. Altimeter is 290. Looks like the BRC 270. See you guys in the back. Power 018. Overhead angels 1. Holding hands with 019. 020. Low state 6.4. Zero one eight. Power, Roger. BRC two seven zero. St. Louis, Charlotte. Two. Zero one eight. Uh, three's in the break. Zero two zero. Power, Roger. BRC two seven zero. St. Louis, Charlotte. Force breaking. Zero two zero. Choose your one, um, have you? Sorry, I'm a bit wide, boys. You're a little low. Yeah, I think it's gonna be the case for all of us. This is a pretty stiff crosswind. You're a little low. 200 meters. Oh, no. Not again. Remember, swoes hate the air. Back 
Huffman Grove, three hundred mile, call the ball. Two zero six, four hundred ball, five point zero. Roger, ball. Approaching center line, a little high. Slightly left of the lineup. Uh, aircraft in the groove, you've got 23 down the angle, zero from starboard. Slightly left for lineup. Three quarter mile, call the ball. On send line, on glide slope. Well, would you guys look at that? That was beautiful. I had a blow. No bolters, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna jump out. We can look at tag me real quick. That sounds good. Oh, sorry, double transmitting. You guys uh, leave the server? Yeah, let's hop out and uh, we'll get the tag view sort. I got the uh, error mission restarted, so it should do a nice cutoff. Hold that back, or do you have one on your own? Yeah, I've I've got it either way, whatever. Copy. Mine's going to be broken up, though, which I guess there really wasn't a lot that happened when I crashed out the first time. That is true. Hey, Tex, you know what I realized today when we did that first flight the other day? Which, yeah. Uh, I had my damn HUD. I was caged. <laughs> oh, for the for the crosswind landing? Yeah, that that doesn't help. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, I think I've got the. I've got it as well. If you need one. Yeah, I've got it pulled up to you. Whatever, whatever's easier. Gentlemen, I gotta say, that was my first mission with you guys. It was a real treat to fly with you. Oh, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. That was, like I say, that one was pretty laid back. We have the red side. I think all they have are Fox 1, so there's not a lot of thread on it, but it's good to get up and 
practice the radar Kills. and such. For sure. Kill's a kill. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're on your stream then. So let's see, you want to talk through your engagement below your first sure. one? Sure. Uh, would you mind popping off the bullseyes? I think it's in the range menu. Like always show bullseye or something like that. Always display. Oh, thanks. Awesome. Um, our first engagement, honestly, was a bit of an overkill, wasn't it, Lone Star? I mean, we, we basically did, the uh, plan was so. to kind of skate left after uh, shooting one each, but it turned out to be a, a single um, MiG-21, so bit of a wasted missile shot there uh, because of that, but just to kind of make sure. But we executed, I, I recommitted to uh, to get visual on the splash and then headed back to headed back to waypoint. And at the time you guys were engaging, I think, was it a single as well? Yep. Yeah, I think there was a four ship there, but they take off from this airfield. And since we air started, they don't ever really have a chance to form up. Gotcha. Yeah, same deal. We. Uh, we both shot one, I think, or actually maybe I didn't. I know our oh, first missile nice. missed, and then we we recommitted. Credit to him for a good defense. Yeah, I was just yeah. about to say. And it wasn't in the vertical for once because they've they've been doing that the twenty yeah. after the. And then I think you guys were heading back, and then mm -hmm. we had the second group uh, relatively close to us, so we went ahead and committed there. Yep, that was twenty ones as well, or. Yeah, I think the first there was a supposed to be a four ship of twenty ones. Right, gotcha. Come up, but since they're coming off the airfield, they're just coming straight at us since we're already there. Yep. Yeah, this time I held my shot because you're yeah. already on them. And it looks like the right reaction from the AI in terms of that was a twist shot, right? Until yep. he reacted. Yeah, to yeah the first one was was I think I had him a single target track. That one was definitely twist. Gotcha. Me too. Because we've been seeing uh, earlier in the deployment, the I mean, I don't know if this was Tomcat specific, but Tomcats were saying that uh, Tomcat pilots were saying that they they were getting AI react to their twist shots as soon as they were off the rail. It was, uh, hmm. And then I think the trigger for these groups of twenty threes is once all the twenty ones are dead, then they turn in. So it got got a little hairy there for a second. Yeah, that was a good kill. <laughs> Yeah, that was a good kill. That was it was it was also nice because we were um, in a, a slightly sort of offset from one another. So, yep. so Lone Star could you know skate uh, and stay safe, and I was I was still nose hot, kind of trying to get a, a twist lock, lock on that, a twist bug on that, and then I saw the splash. It's definitely nice if the multi-threading rendering distance you can really actually see splashes now in you know like. You can see the yeah. smoke, you might not necessarily see the jet, but you can see the smoke rendered, which is... Yeah. Oh, there we go. So yeah, we both went defensive there. First missile hit. This was trash by that point. You, um, you changed the... Um stream to 30 for us so it's uh, not blocking because it's at this oh yeah same thing uh where's that setting it's at? in the it, it's the same button as share your screen and then just change quality oh yeah that's gonna get better now oh there we go maybe it's british internet <laughs> <laughs> nah <laughs> Oh, there was actually a missile off there, uh, wasn't there? Oh yeah, yeah. These were the twenty threes, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. That was a that was a relatively how far was that shot? No, it wasn't as far as I shot inside thirty. Yeah. He got greedy though. Yep. Yeah. So we got the um. We got this still over from I think the second Mig twenty three you guys engaged while we were engaging these guys. Or maybe actually before wow. that even. I just couldn't work out the angles here on this. Oh, that was a great shot there too. That was. Well, that's the difference between supporting your missile to Pitbull and not, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this guy kind of snuck up on us, this trailer out of our group of 23s. And I think he might have fallen off of the essay page for a second. And then he popped on. I noticed he was... 
I got spiked. spiked below me. Yeah. He did get killed. Oh, that's his chap. Never mind. Yeah. There it goes. I don't think I don't he know, was. Still out, still yeah, out. we thought he was yeah, dead. I thought he was dead, yeah. And this and was when I realized, him. yep, I dove in on him in Fox 2. And then even still, we weren't sure that he was going down, and we finally saw him hit the water. Yeah, took a while. This is what I like about uh, individually recorded tag. We can see where you're actually looking. You know, that blue line yeah. on your jet. Yeah. Yeah, it takes text. This was where I got spiked, so I just pointed it basically right at the threat as you were coming up off of that. Uh, Fox yeah, team. yeah. And I think they killed both of these guys pretty quick. Oh, yeah, they did. Uh, actually, no, um, we, one of them defended, um, and then I was, I was still pressing um, because I could, see the, uh, I could see the SA contact, but not lock him. Uh, mm -hmm. And then I finally got a. a Ways on him here, which I really should have gone for, like helmet. And as you can see, this just does not track because it didn't go STT, but this one does. Hmm. No. So yeah, that's definitely changed. I don't know if that's a bug or or what, but nice. And it was nice being on a tanker that wasn't bouncing around everywhere <laughs> for sure. Amen to that. I got to do it twice. <laughs> yeah. Nice uh, breaks as well. Yep. Yep. Ooh. I turned out a little shallow and it took me a while to get out to that distance. But Yeah, I was super shallow and I was 6,400 pounds when we entered. So I was actually dumping on the way in, like just before the break, because it already took me super wide. And I was doing like 35, 60, 35, 40 degrees all the way through the turn because trying to compensate for that. <laughs> Dash four extends, owns the pattern. <laughs> You're my boat. <laughs> that, that's, that's something we've really tried to harp on our guys is making that turn in mm -hmm. off of the beam position pretty quick because if... What's if, the uh, interval you shoot for for the deck recovery is 45, 55 seconds a minute? Yeah, I mean... I, we're more about just making sure that the the separation is enough to to get in there what what typically happens if if one or two pushes long and everybody else turns in then you get two people oh, you're waiting people up yeah. and if we've got an LSO on the deck that's kind of got pretty good awareness then they can wave off the one that went long so that's kind of what yeah. we're trying to do is is get people to not go long in the groove and if they do try to wave off the one that was long and not the one that did it right so just out of curiosity, does that have time hacks for when each one of us uh, hit the deck? I'm just curious what the interval was. I think oh, it does. Yeah. Uh, it should be in the events. Um, uh, it's, at the, uh, it's the wrench, excuse me, the cog wheel, I think. Uh, and log. Oh, no, it's the wrench. Or even the notepad. Oh. Here. Uh, one of them will have... Maybe it's the. Even if there's just, is there a real time one just on the bottom? Maybe yeah. Yeah, was... yeah, might as well. Sorry, yeah. Well, you got the clock on the top left too. Mm -hmm. I was just curious. Well, five thirty-two, six twenty-three. Nice. Six fifty-seven. Nice. Eight twenty-eight. So yeah. Yeah, That's... I did. I it was one of you guys not on one twenty-eight five. Was that you, Millie? Uh, did you oh, hear yeah, me? Okay, cool, cool. No, I, was... I heard you say. Uh, I heard you say something. Yeah, I did hear you say at the end there. I, at the end, I went. I went on mids because I. I was kind of caught in the corner of my eye on SRS oh. that that there was only two oh, other yeah. guys on there. So, but yeah, I, I, was... go I forgot to go up. <laughs> no, no, it's it's all good. Um, but yeah, I was. Oh, it's cool, man. <laughs> but it, it it like I say the these this is an older mission so. The radio presets aren't set real great either. Usually it's easy just to flip the button one and you're there. So I had oh, to make oh, it in. You don't have to blame the buttons. It was me. I didn't even think about it. I was too busy <laughs> just enjoying the view. All good. Um, I was I was asking earlier, I don't know if you uh, caught that. Um, on, for case one, did you guys did you guys use the needles at all just to kind of guide you on your I, I put approach? them up. They were working. Yeah? Yep. Cool. 
yeah, some some of the guys in our group play it, you know, like strictly visual pattern kind of thing, and um, and and some definitely supplemented with with needles. I tend to put them on just out of habit. I know that they're not the same glide slope as you know, by a couple of fractions yeah. of degree, but any decent fighter pilot will say if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying hard enough. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I I it helps me a lot to get lined up. Like I don't use yeah. the glide slope as much, but the yeah localizer really kind of helps you get on that center line. Sweet. Well, I enjoyed it. It was a fun flight. So absolutely. Um, yeah. Thanks, guys. We'll uh, see everybody on Thursday. Yep. See you. Nice to fly with you guys. Right. Yep. You yeah. Too. You too. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night.